I see what ho, chaps and chaps, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes! Yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say we are now discussing here the rather exciting news today of brand new features in Fire Emblem if the upcoming game on Nintendo 3DS. We most certainly are, yes, indeed, Fire Emblem if. New trailer out today and lots of information and rather interesting things there looks to be in this new version. That's right, I dare say though of course what we are really discussing here are some of the quite controversial new features and uh, shall we say interesting decisions that they seem to have made. We most certainly are and by the way, th they sat my safe while you were playing. Oh sure, she'll be Do you fine. Uh, careful, I know what you? I'm doing, honestly, I'm an oh, expert. So what sort of new features are we looking at here, old chap? Uh, well, you see now, one of the very important things that we're going to see in Fire Emblem If and this is obviously the new version, if you didn't know, uh, is going to be, you will be able to build your town and castle. You'll actually be able to build towns and castles in this version. You're going to be able to build your own castle town, is that right? Most certainly. Actually place down, you know, buildings, etc. so forth. That's absolutely amazing, I have to say. It most certainly is, yes indeed. Certainly something we haven't seen in the previous versions, and this is going to be, well, as you perhaps can see, as a rather interesting element to the whole game. It does of course, what you're dealing with here, Fiddles, is the ability to fully customise your own town in a way perhaps similar to Animal Crossing. Now, of course, you're going to be able to place down buildings, use the different buildings in different ways, and really it does have that Animal Crossing-y feel. But the question I have to be asking here, yes. I, I have to do it, old chap, is... Oh. Is this really Fire Emblem, old chap? Well, you see, I, I, yes, now you said that, and perhaps the chaps and chappies and people that are watching out there may think, well, hang on, is it Fire Emblem? Because it does have, as you said, a bit of an animal, animal crossing y feel about it. Exactly. With these placing of houses and going around, little figures walking around. Now, the thing is, does it fit in? to Fire Emblem like this, or does it not? Well, exactly. I mean, does this kind of sort of a city building, you know, castle maintaining sort of mechanic really work in the game? Now, if you ask me my opinion, I feel this is a great thing for Fire Emblem because it allows us to see inside the medieval fantasy world and what goes on out of the battles, you see. Well, yes, there is that to it. I suppose beforehand, yeah, certainly in Fire Emblem Awakening, you sort of think, well, I, you know, the, the towns are there and you know they're doing things in the town. You kind of imagine it, I suppose. That's right. But they're trying to bring that imagination to life here by saying, well, you can do it yourself. You can go in, build towns, presumably castles, etc. and so forth as well. That's right. And I understand what's more, these mm. towns and castles can actually be raided by bandits, can't they? They can indeed. From what we can see there, it looks as though bandits can actually perhaps randomly raid your uh, town or castle that you've built and cause a general havoc. That's right, which adds an interesting extra twist because, of course, those self-same bandits can also, get ready for this, knock down your buildings, the absolute blighters. They can indeed, it would seem. Nasty like. chaps, aren't they? Indeed, actually smash the buildings down. Isn't that a good name for your avatar, General Havoc? Uh, General what? General, General Havoc. Oh, I'm yes. I'm user this time. Yes, General Havoc. Very good, uh, old chap. But anyway, so, yes, indeed. They can indeed break the buildings down as well, which right. is rather fun, I suppose. That's right, although not fun for the player, I should imagine. Well, but no, uh, no. indeed, of course, you can uh, see off the, the bandit raids using your units by keeping them at bay, you'll see. But, of course, this is not the only new feature in Fire Emblem If. We also now have the ability inside these castle towns to uh, look inside the onsens. Okay, ah. as your units are taking a nice, relaxing hot springs soak in the onsen. Now, for those of you who don't know what an onsen is, it's basically like a bit of a, well, it's like a sauna, you know, a jacuzzi, basically a hot spring bath, hot water, that kind of thing. That's right, yes, indeed. Hot spring bath, I think is the best way to describe it. Yes. Of thing. Yeah, but the only like the thing, Romans had. Yes, the only snag with that, of course, is that uh, you'll see people who go inside these onsens have to take their clothes off, you, you know. Well, and, they do. Uh, and th yes. This is the problem, you see, because you, when you do go bathing, the general idea you take your clothes off, I suppose there's some element of, uh, of eccentricism in uh, using your clothes, but you take them off, you see, in this one. Um, right, so basically what we're saying is you can actually use the 3D in-game camera to pan around and have a good old leer at your units taking a hot spring bath. Well, exactly, yes, indeed. and we see Male and female, I presume. Well, I think male and female, and it seems that they're showing some shots there of these chaps in the bars uh, with no clothes on, presumably within the towns they've made or perhaps similar. But yes, indeed, you can pan around, have a look, and it seems they're just sitting there, just chatting in the bath, discussing the latest battle or something else. Right, indeed. All the while, the player, of course, observing what's going on. So quite an amusing feature there. But I have to say to you, Fidel, that's not all. Well, it isn't all, but just mentioning, as we were looking, saying, looking around there, where you can sort of move around, apparently you can also, in those towns we were talking about, look around in 3D as well, which is rather fun, I think. That's rather fun, I have to say. Quite right, old boy. But uh, the 
question I'd be asking is, what else do we have in this new game? And I understand that, uh, shall we say, the previous um, love confession system has been taken a step further, hasn't it? Well, it has. You see, the whole, the whole lovey sort of lovey-dovey confession thing yes. uh, in the previous game was quite popular because, of course, it was. you could marry the units. You could. And they built up relationships, etc., so forth, to a certain point. And when it got strong enough, they could say, Oh, will you marry me? And they say, Oh, yes, please. And they go and get killed. It's sad, but never mind. <laughs> well, my ones don't get killed, everybody, but, well, but well, yours might. Uh, yes, but anyway, well. but, they, but they stepped this up. Right. To one or two pegs in this game, and in fact, a lot more. In, because you can actually, well, there are actually love confession scenes now. Love confessions. Where you are able to interact with the partner. Uh, okay, so basically beforehand we did actually have love confession scenes last time, but it was kind of like a still image really, not so much like that. But this time you actually see the full-on portrait of your chosen unit or partner on the bottom screen and you can poke their mouths, old chap, yeah, well, and make them happy well, by well, poking their mouths, you see. Apparently poke, is, poke, poke, you know? You can poke their mouths, right. as perhaps can be seen there, Yes. sort of poke, poke, and then the, they like that, apparently. Yes, it this makes them some... smile and happy. And yeah. also, of course, you can have either a female or male, depending on who you are. Yes, indeed. Now, I think it's only the mouths that can be poked, thank goodness. Uh, are you sure? I, I think so, I'm no, not sure. We cannot confirm whether any other body parts poking can occur yes. in this particular game video. So yes. more news on that soon, I'm sure. I'm but, Sure. For now, we can say the mouths can be poked. Um, the question is, does such a feature really belong in Fire Emblem, old chap? Well, I don't know. I mean, as I said before, it was rather popular. Marrying the units and the whole idea of relationships between the units, etc., so forth, and the characters was very popular before. Yes. And I think Nintendo have picked up on this and said, well, we'll step this up, Pega 2, then. I think they certainly have taken things to the next level, there, old boy. And, uh, of course, when coupled with the Onsen system, it's quite apparent, Vales. They're, they're catering to both the, shall we say, romantic side and all also the strategy game side in a sort of two-in-one package here, I think. Well, most certainly it's indeed. And of course, you see, it's a bit like a dating minigame as well idea as well, because apparently, as you said, you interact on the bottom screen, is that right? On the bottom screen, indeed, you do interact there, and I dare say it certainly does have all the workings, if you will, of a dating minigame. Certainly there is that element to it. And, uh, you know, you have to ask yourself the question, does this really belong in a game that's really all about the strategy, old chap? Well, Fire Emblem, yes, indeed, has always been very much about strategy, etc., so forth. And I think it's still is with this one, but yes. they've added these elements to it. Now, could that sway people away from the strategy thing to concentrate more, or think to concentrate more, perhaps on building up relationships more than they were before, building the little towns and things, and does it have too much of a you know, Animal crossing feel and a dating feel about it? Well, if you ask me, um, I'm not entirely sure. As long as these extra modes, like the dating mode and you know, the, the town building mode, etc., don't cross over into actually taking over the whole game, in other words, as long as the core strategy gameplay is intact, I don't really see anything wrong with them, to be honest, old boy. Well, maybe not. No, maybe it'll improve it slightly. Um, I think all extra features are welcome, really, if you ask me, old boy. Welcome and appreciated. And I'm sure these uh, these extra windows, if you will, into the worlds of Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire... No, I beg your pardon, Fire Emblem If, sorry, yes, will, yes. Be, will be most uh, beneficial and also help to shift copies of the game because it's quite a unique and interesting idea. And really, you can't really get that sort of blend of strategy, romance and Animal Crossing type city management all in one game like that. Well, no, indeed. No, you can't. But the thing is, how people respond to that, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know what the people listening think about all this, what they think. If they think, well, yes, we just prefer to similar to have what we had with Awakening, um, well, perhaps with better graphics and things like that, I don't know. And we can well, do without that. Or do you think, perhaps, oh, yes, this is rather a good idea. I like the idea of the gameplay. I do think certainly the graphics are quite similar to Awakening's graphics. However, it appears to be the gameplay side of thing that has been ramped up quite a bit here. Well, yes, indeed. I don't know whether they could have improved, perhaps, on the graphics overall, because they look very, very similar to the uh, Awakening, as you say. Yes, um, yes, uh, there is know, that to it, I suppose. Maybe they're thinking to themselves, well, OK, we'll just keep, the, we won't work much on that side of things, and we'll just add elements to, you know, the ones we just said to make the thing better. Uh, you, did you know, by your listener is very, very fortunate, I have to say, but uh, anyway, just a side note on the like gameplay. Uh, moving on, what else did we spot and notice in that trader, old chap? Well, as I mentioned briefly earlier, the ability to actually stop and look around in 3D your environment that you're actually in. Ah, of course, that's right. You can go into a sort of first-person mode in 3D there and actually take a look around your town. That's quite fun, isn't it, old chap? That is, yes, indeed. The town you've been building up, you can sort of walk around and actually explore it by the looks of things. Go on, 
Vegan or chap? There we go. Aha. Yes, indeed. I think where, as before, as I said earlier, once again, you just it was in your mind. You had to imagine all these things going on. Yes. But now they're saying you should have a look round now, and all the things you were thinking of before you can actually see. So the perhaps they're hoping to get some more sales and more interest out of that sort of thing. I think they're going for the approach again. I, I do think these changes will be controversial, old boy. Certainly, not everyone is going to be for the idea of <laughs> touching your partner. I mean, that that is that, that is absurd, old boy. But you know, perhaps as you said earlier, it might help to boost sales and interest in this game. Well, you, well yes, I, well, indeed, but just when you say that, I mean, it, it's not taboo and, and, and wrong to touch uh, your well, partner, is it? I, I suppose. Well, perhaps it is nowadays. I mean, maybe it probably is, yes. Well, um, I don't know. I, I think what we're seeing here is very much Nintendo uh, towing the, uh, dipping their tippy toes into the water of a, shall we say, untapped genre in the West, which is, of course, the love and dating simulation type game, which is actually already quite popular over in Japan. They're bringing it to the West here, or they will be, uh, with this new feature by slipping it in the old Fire Emblem route. Rather clever, I have to say. Yeah, slipping it in. Most interesting, yes, indeed. But I don't know what everyone out there thinks about all this. Let us know. But we think it's possibly, yes, it could work. But I, then I think maybe so. it's too uh, Animal Crossing-y. I don't know. Now, I don't know, but I certainly think this uh, this interesting blend is quite a good thing for the series, and it, it looks to me as if the series will only get better as a result of these new changes they're making. But uh, Tail Govarail's Fire Emblem Ifs brand new features. Romance, city building, onsens, hot spring, bath, bite. George, it's all here, old chap. Bathing in the bath with no clothes on and discussing the world going around as you're doing so. Y yes, yes. I mean, we don't do that in England, old boy. Perhaps they should start doing that over here, old chap. I, oh. I don't know. But uh, anyway, thank you most kindly for joining for as I say. Yes. I look forward to seeing you once more the next exciting outing. Oh, Fighting. It was fine, old chap. You better not have ruined my map. I'll be absolutely wild. Well, this might be dead. I'm not sure. But what? anyway, until then.